So let's just start the reading for the collective. Uh oh. Devil Two of Pentacles Reverse. Somebody who's obsessed that's playing games. Trying to play games with something that's due to you. Something being made fair. Someone's obsessed. They're causing chaos with something where they're going through some type of chaos because you're something's being made fair, but you're in this independent energy anyway. Hmm. Hope that everyone is feeling great. Appreciate all of your positive energy. Wheel of Fortune. Something is in the upright here for you. Uh, the wheel is in the upright here for you. Good fortune. Positive changes. Something, a grander des design aligned for you. Um, something faded. Something you co-created with the universe. Death is the problem. Somebody wants to end this wheel. Two of Swords are going to try to... Someone's playing games or trying to do something to create... Yeah, I just heard a ding. Denial. Create a stalemate. Strength reverse. They're obsessed and jealous and they're in their ego and they want to end this Wheel of Fortune in the upright for you. Okay. In the subconscious... The Eight of Cups, they know someone should walk away or someone's walking away. Ten of Wands reversed. This is going to... They're being shamed or this is going to be shamed or... They should let this go and walk away. Deep down they know they should let this go and walk away. There's a whole bunch of dysfunction here. No one's happy. Um, someone's trying to lie or cause confusion. Yeah. Yeah, I did a reading, like two readings ago, and the title is something like, they're going to try to cause confusion, and it's not a good idea. And now, here it is again. Um, I, they're going to lie, or they're trying to block a breakthrough. Something's being made fair for you. They want to cause an ending with this death card. They could be going through an ending as well. I think they are going through an ending, but they want something to end for you. Um, something that's being made fair. They want to play games. They want to create a stalemate. Um, okay. Recent past. The star. You're shining. You're born to shine. You're, you're inspiring. It's a dream's coming true. Four of Cups, they feel like they want you to be rejected or they feel very unsatisfied with the way the future is going i'll clarify that three of wands reverse in the near future they don't want something that's coming in to come in or this is something not coming in for them they feel like they're going to be waiting forever some sort of alliances aren't coming together something's not working two of wands someone's making plans or they're looking at your plans your Getting yourself ready to you know, get the map out and take action. When, when your plan is clear, you're going to be very concise. A lot of energy, vitality, energized with your plan. That's how they see you. They could be trying to make plans right now uh, to end something as well. Um, there's a Knight of Cups in the environment who maybe is someone that has friendly feelings towards you or people have friendly feelings towards you or someone loves you or there's some type of romance in your environment. Um, Ten of Swords Reverse. Someone doesn't want you to recover from a betrayal. Um, outcome, Two of Cups. King of Cups under the deck. 
So this has to do with some type of love. Or some masculine energy that you can trust. King, Knight of Cups, King of Cups. A sweet, sweet connection. Yeah, that's what the universe says is going to happen. <laughs> but it's also because of the steps you've taken. Listening, you're listening. And someone here feels like you reap what you sow. They put all their time and energy into the wrong thing. And someone's feeling rejected. Someone could be going through this ending. It's also possible someone's looking at this wheel for you. And they're going through an ending. But my initial intuition was that someone wants to cause this ending. So someone's looking at your wheel. Wow. It has to do with love. Yeah, there's an enemy over here looking at some type of love. Someone coming towards you. So someone's jealous of a connection of someone. Yeah, they maybe someone doesn't love them. Or they want to block. They want to block the love or they don't feel loved. This is not a surprise. Maybe they tried to cause some type of misfortune for you. Block your money, create a bunch of misfortune. Instead, this wheel is here. Something's being made fair. Um, this has to do with love and money. Love and money. Money reverse. Yeah, they don't have the money. You have the money. Death. Letter. There's something about a letter. Causing an ending with a letter, or someone not messaging someone, or someone lying. It has to do with maybe business. Someone alone in a room. Something about business. Someone is not an expert, or someone will try to stop someone from helping someone. Something is over. Some, someone is causing an ending with a letter. Or they want to try to cause an ending with a letter to block money. They didn't. They want to block your money and cause an ending with a letter. Or letter reverse. Someone didn't get the letter. They didn't get the message. They don't want you to get a message. They want to block. Um. Block the money coming in. Wheel of Fortune. They see things working out for you. They want to create a blockage, or they did this in the past. It's something about you not getting help as well. This is weird. Try to stop someone from coming towards you. There could be something about a masculine energy and a child, or a masculine energy who sees you as very pure and innocent. So they want to stop a masculine energy from coming towards you. They're going to lie in a letter to cause an ending and block your money. It's a foe who's going down uh, with a group of people. Deep down, they know they should walk away, that this is going to create more shame and guilt. They should let this go. Yeah, deep down, they know that this is... They're being arrogant they're being arrogant they feel like they're they deep down they feel like you are the haughty one or something so it's like they want to take you down a notch this foe um they know you're a sweetheart deep down they know you're a sweetheart but they're they're just very much in their ego Someone's very much in their ego. They know you're a sweetheart. They want to block your money and block someone from thinking of you in, in a good, positive light. Okay. Star, you've been shining. Um, this is the direction you're going. This is wishes coming true. Um, 
This thief is over here watching this that's in bad health. Yeah. Wow. Maybe mentally unstable. It's something about s someone not helping you. Um, they feel like they're taking a loss. Maybe someone's not helping them with a child or something about a child. Or there's a loss of a child or because of a child. Someone is false. So they're going through something here and they see the star energy with you. Deep down, this could feel familiar, this, this event right now. Whatever is about to unfold or whatever this is that's going on, there could be something about it that feels almost like deja vu, even though it hasn't unfolded yet. So this, this part of the journey, it feels familiar. Somehow it's like you, it's like something feels like you've been here before or something like that. Um, Four of Cups, someone wants you to be rejected. That's what I think this is. Someone is praying and doing something in a very lower vibrational way to make you rejected, to re have you be rejected, or they want people to think of you as godless. They could be taking a loss. It has something to do with a conversation or someone's not talking to someone. It's like a group of people here. Something is very unholy going on here with a group of people that maybe party a lot or these are fair weather friends. Someone doesn't want something to end. They don't want change. I think they want to see you take a loss. There could also be something here about um, an inheritance, someone not getting the money. As an aside, so there's like a King of Cups, someone who sees you in a positive light. And someone here wants to create a lie with a letter or cause an ending with money, or they did this in the past. I definitely need to keep clarifying, um, and I'll get there. We'll, we'll figure it out. Three of Wands reversed in the near future. Someone is waiting for something and it's not coming in. Someone's feeling pessimistic. Um, someone can't travel. Um, or it's a bad fortune reverse. Someone's not getting the fortune. Someone's not helping someone. Yeah. Someone's not getting the fortune. Someone's not helping someone. Um, someone's not melancholy. Someone is not in despair. There is love here. This false person is focused on a masculine energy. Or there's a masculine energy that's false here. There's definitely something very important about someone not being truthful. Someone wearing a mask in the near future in regards to this fortune reverse, service reverse. This could also have to do with someone wanting you to be lower in rank somehow, to rank beneath them. Um, sick. Two of Wands. Someone's making plans or someone feels like someone's making, you are making plans. It's like they're, okay, they're making plans to block some type of union. It has to do with someone helping you. Knight of Cups in the environment. It's, there's something about someone's feelings or someone being friendly towards you in the environment. to help you. It's like a helpful energy. That's what someone is observing. That is what someone is reacting to. And they're very, whoever this is, is very lower vibrational, extremely lower vibrational. Um, there's something about a house and a child that is significant and someone not helping someone. That is a really big part of this. Someone not being faithful to someone, someone not, someone not helping someone, a masculine energy. So, someone could have been surprised by this. Yeah, someone feels like they're taking a loss. There's some type of a loss connected to this. And now it's like they are looking at your wheel of fortune and they're trying to They feel like they're being, deep down, they feel like they're being overconfident about what they're doing 
and that you're a sweetheart anyway. You don't deserve it. But it's like they're making plans to block some sort of reunion um, or block someone from caring about you or seeing you in a positive light. And there's also something about money as well. Um, there's something very, there's something very lower vibrational here that's causing a loss for someone or caused the loss for someone. Someone could have also passed. Um, and there's something about a whole group of people where things are just not well, not working out. There's something very dysfunctional about this group. People are not faithful or someone's not faithful within this group. Something is surprising. So this person could be going through some type of surprise. Um, Ten of Swords Reverse. Uh, they don't want you to overcome some type of betrayal. They want you to be in a Ten of Swords. <laughs> okay. Prison Reverse. They wanted you to be trapped. It's super, very superficial. This person is extremely lower vibrational and very superficial. Superficial wants you to be in some type of like painful, crushed, defeated, end of the world feeling. And they don't. They they've already done something, and they want you to feel trapped, stuck, or trapped. Um. Very, very superficial. And there's a group of people involved. Seeing you, that you're not melancholy, that's what's bothering, okay, that's the superficial part of this, is that it's what other people think, or something like that. Outcome is two of cups, so they're trying to block two people. It's soulmate connection. It's not going to work. It's not working. Um, something about a house. This could be someone's mother doing this. There's a mother figure involved or a matriarch involved focused on this king of cups. Um, there's something about you being unfazed that is really bothering this person. They feel like they did a lot. What are they trying to do here with this death letter reverse? It's something about time. They want to they want to feel like they didn't waste time doing something. You're not haunted. Letter reverse death. This person's obsessed. Right, we started with the Devil card, didn't we? In the upright. Someone's extremely toxic, very low vibrational, and very obsessed with you. There's something about you not being trapped, and they don't want to feel like they wasted their time, or they wasted people's time. It's like they have something to prove. Um, it's You're not in a nightmare, and they feel like... They wanted you to be blocked. Maybe th there's something about something going on online here. A spiritual hater or something going on online. You seem to be unfazed by it. Something about someone being clout hungry. Not marrying for money. You didn't, you're not interested in that. You're a boss bitch. <laughs> you run, you're very stable. You're a bit multifaceted. That's why you're unfazed. So if you're unfazed, someone tried to block your money, you're unfazed, they're very upset, things are working out for you, someone sees you as, as someone as, you know, you have a good heart, someone has these friendly feelings or romantic feelings towards you, 
What are they trying to do here? Death? Letter reverse. They want to end something. Or they try to withhold a letter. Withhold information. Withhold money. Or they want to do this now. There's some sort of letter or correspondence here. Low vibrational correspondence. Nightmare reverse. Something to do with someone's bad reputation. Like someone's trying to ruin your reputation, but you're not in a nightmare. Or they tried to ruin your reputation and you're not in a nightmare. There's some sort of like evidence of something that they were trying to gather or that they're trying to gather. But there's some sort of lie here. There's something about something going on online. Fishing for comments. Screenshots of something. Too busy winning reverse. It's something about someone hates your light. I feel like this person's exposed. People see them. Or they want to try to prove that you are. Something's come up that you're not this wolf in sheep's clothing. They were trying to say you are. But I feel like they're trying to come up with something here. You're not ghosted. Something's really bothering this person. Someone wants you back. Someone's not interested in marrying for money. Someone's not interested in always partying. I feel like that's you. Or there could be someone that was with this person that is not interested in what they have to offer, which is all about money and partying. Um... And they try to, looks like, ruin your reputation here, but something's working out for you. People see you in a positive light. I feel like they're doing something here with this letter. Or or they tried to do something, it didn't work. Something's causing an ending. Maybe now they're going through an ending because of something they sent. Or they want to create an ending. Deep down they know... There's some type of shame or guilt connected to what they're doing. And that they're, they're being overly confident and that this is superficial and that you are a sweetheart. But they should leave you alone. Deep down they know they should leave you alone. Um, yeah. Deep down they know that they are triggered and threatened by you. And that's why they're doing whatever they're doing. Yeah. Triggered and threatened by you that you're a sweetheart and they can't handle it and they're trying to force something. They're trying to force something. They want to cough. They want to block you. <laughs> this is like something about someone being clout hungry. They want to block you. They are not reflecting. They're acting without reflecting. And yeah, they're fed up. They're very upset. Someone's acting from a position of uh, turmoil. They're not thinking something through. There's something deep down telling them to stop. They're upset. You've been shining here. Wishes are coming true. You're healing from something. And it's like this person who's unstable. I feel like why we have malady here is still trying to steal something or they want to steal this light. They want to steal you, whatever it is that you do that's inspiring. They want to steal your hope. You're born to shine, you're, you're um, a light worker, you're a future thinker, you're a pioneer. Um, there's something also I feel like that they can't, people can't find something about you. Is someone trying to ruin your reputation? You know, there's something that's very genuine about what you do with this star. Here, you're not out here trying to make something look a certain way and and someone can't seem to find something they're trying to steal something but they uh, better run out they're trying to steal something but they can't find something this has to do with something going on online how you're seen or perceived um, something legal sort of legal issue something going on online someone who feels sick over you shining trying to, it's something about someone's reputation or how something appears, something about comments, something online, someone's doing something online, 
They're trying to block someone's jackpot with legal court, or they're going through. They didn't get the jackpot, and they are. Um, someone's uninterested in them. Someone is leaving them. Someone is not into them. Someone is moving. So it's like someone is going through some type of an ending here. And it's like they want to attack you. Um, Four of Cups. Whatever their plan is, very low vibrational. They, they want you to be rejected. So... They're not reflecting on whatever this is. They just know they want you to be rejected. Um, they could be trying to pretend like they're not tripping on you. Um, there's something about trying to block. There's something about legal issues here to stop you from winning. You've been dodging bullets. There could be something about children or a child here. Um, Near future, something that someone is waiting for to come in is not coming in. Someone's not helping someone. Someone doesn't have a fortune. Cock blocking. Someone's trying to cock block you in the near future. Oh. A lonely person is trying to cock block you. A thief that's lonely is trying to cock block you. They're having family issues. Maybe someone is giving someone a dirty offer to do something. Creeping, they're watching, they're stalking. They're watching, stalking someone that's in the upright here. Loved, respected. They're trying to block you. A drama starter is trying to block you in the near future because you're not ghosted. Um, because you didn't lose your chance. Um, and because they can't steal something from you. Your essence, your something that's authentic to you here. Um, there's something about someone being rejected and something about fake accounts. Um, and you seem to be unbothered by it. Um, there, there's some sort of love in your, your life. Um, yeah, there's some sort of romance energy around you and you're in the upright here, multifaceted, bossing up, bossing up, leveling up. So that's how someone sees you here and they want to cause a catastrophe is what it seems like. They're making plans now to block some type of reunion or block some type of love, block some type of connection. They want something to seem played out um, or for you to seem played out. They're using fake or they want you to seem fake. Um, they want you to be rejected um, and ignored. They want you to seem not smart um, and like you're a waste of time. But they want to pretend like they're not in competition with you. Um, <laughs> Knight of Cups. Someone seems like they're in, they're on your side. They're an advocate. They have friendly feelings towards you in the environment. Someone feels like this is you dodging their bullets. <laughs> They're a happiness hater um, that's trying to force their way because they feel like someone wants you back and you're loved, respected. Someone, someone likes you um, and they could have a bad reputation, whoever this is, or they want to ruin your reputation, say you ain't shit, um, or something's affected their reputation from talking so badly about you. They could be going down with a group of fa um, karmic friends for trying to bully you online. But there's, they could be still trying to do it, but they're trying to pretend like they're not tripping on you, but they're doing something here. It has to do with romance or romantic affair. Yeah, and someone's leaving them. Um, Ten of Wands. They want... Oh, sorry. Ten of Swords Reverse. They want you to feel like you can't... Get up again we have some type of like bad habit here they want you to feel they're in their ego about you not being trapped and someone wanting you back um and you leveling up outcome is two of cups something to do with the house as well so i feel like 
whatever they're trying to do, it, it doesn't seem to be, it seems solid or stable. It's like their head is in the clouds about the situation. Yeah, because you're in the upright here, even though whatever they're trying to do, they seem intent on doing, it's just a waste of time. Um, divination abuser, reverse under the deck, so they could be dibble dabbling in lower vibrational spiritual practices, um, trying to block a masculine energy. They're really in their ego, this person, and there's some type of family issues going on. Um, they're fed up. Someone is very, very upset. It has to do with maybe some sort of situation where someone's leaving, leaving a situation <clears throat> that was based on money. Or well, they're very upset because you have strong values. Something about your values, that you're unbothered. Or they could be going through a divorce and they never... They didn't get you in this ten of swords, this feeling of hitting rock bottom that they wanted you to... You're not where they wanted you to be. I don't know who this is, if this is like a feminine... I think this is a feminine energy and maybe their mother? Or they're going to someone here that's some type of a practitioner. I'm not completely sure what this person is intending on doing. Something about watching. Something about someone watching something or someone. Someone watching someone. Romantic feelings. Someone watching someone having romantic feelings? There's bad vibes. A snake in the grass. Blocking. A snake in the grass blocking something that someone is watching where there's romantic feelings involved. Or we're trying to create bad vibes. You seem unfazed. It's something about someone giving some something to someone or not giving some something to someone. Doing something on purpose to block someone from giving someone something, something to do with a charity or charity or being charitable. Someone thinks something's funny, or you use your third eye here. You're connected to God and the divine energies. There's a lot of secrets here. There could be a Virgo involved. Death, letter, nightmare. Someone wants to create a nightmare with some type of letter. They want to create an ending. They want to create a nightmare. Gossip. They want to create some type of gossip. Whatever it is, it's an injustice. Shame. They want you to get passed on. They want you to feel shamed or be shamed by something. You're healing. You're very healing. You're healing someone. Something about your home or a home. MNOP could be significant. Crying, someone's crying. There could be a Virgo involved. Someone is very arrogant here. Um, gossip, injustice. You're unfazed by it though, but you're not in a nightmare someone created. I almost feel like there's an ending happening to someone because of the injustice. They, they tried to block money. They tried to block, you could be, you could own a charity or run a charity, or there's something about someone giving you money or being charitable, someone trying to block the money, but you're unfazed. Someone did something on purpose or someone is trying to create some type of confusion because I've been getting these readings with this Ace of Swords reverse as an intention. 
So someone's lying, they're going to create a lie, or they're trying to create confusion. And we saw the readings start with the devil. It's this someone here is obsessed. Deep down they know they're extra triggered. Um, there could be also a Gemini involved. Um, that, that they wanted you to be passed on, but you still have this good karma. Um, there's a snake in the grass. Um, that you're healing, or that you're healing energy. Um, and there could be something to do with, you know, someone will do anything here. You could be very creative as well. You could meditate a lot. Um, you could go to nature a lot. And someone here is like, physically ill. There's someone that's physically ill. There's something about someone's dreams, a masculine energy, something about their dreams, and your good karma. Someone is very unhinged right now. Very, very triggered. Yeah. They, deep down, they know they're unhinged. They could be a Scorpio. There could also be a masculine energy that's a water sign. And there's something about a Virgo here, too. Someone is very arrogant and entitled. Deep down, they know they are. Um, and there's a whole family connected here. And something about a home. Deep down, someone knows that they're, they're an energy vampire. Yeah. They don't want to have clarity. Um, in the recent past, that's your, your healing. You've been helping others. There could be a Pisces involved. Um, or there's something about you tapping into Neptunian energy. Um, you're not about trying to fake a certain lifestyle. Someone isn't able to find something about you, but they're trying to steal something, steal your future. There's something about your creativity. Um, you could be someone in the public eye. There's something about um, something, recordings of something, records, Akashic records, some sort of secrets coming out. Um, someone is seeing or watching or looking at something here. And they're very unhinged. They want you to get passed on and they're crying. They're crying because it's not working. There's hidden karma happening in their life. There could be something going on, balancing out the balancing of the scales. This person could tap into lower vibrational spiritual practices um, and they could be sick from it. Someone wants you to be rejected. They're going to do something lower vibrational. They're trying to block something, block someone from... Something about the Deva realm. There's some sort of bad karma they're in denial about. Having to do with love and you, who the angels love like their baby. And, and they're sick. This person is sick. Um... They think something's funny. They're trying to get you passed on. They're trying to do something on purpose to block some type of money or someone helping you or it has to do with charity. Um, in the near future, cock blocking, three of ones, reverse, fortune reverse, service reverse. Someone is not helping someone or someone is trying to block some plans from coming in, something you're expecting. They're trying to block you. Someone doesn't love someone or they're trying to block love. They think it's really funny. Um, something's balancing itself out. There's something to do with a date. Someone is very sick. There's something about someone saying someone is sick. It's, there's some type of bad vibes in the near future. Um, trying to get someone passed on. And someone's watching something. Someone is watching something. Some, a masculine energy. Something about the moon. Maybe this is the full moon. Whatever it is, it's very toxic. Involving a female presenting person who's heartbroken um, about a date um, and someone being in peace. Um, and definitely something very important here about someone being sick. Um, 
and there's something about something you made, your creativity, your business. There's like a whole family involved. And this could be a family member. Um, two of Wands. Someone's making a plan. Some sort of situation's played out. It has to do with you connecting with someone romantically. They feel like maybe a masculine energy is making plans, but they're trying to, there's some sort of bad vibes here connected to this. Things coming into alignment. There could be an Aries or a Libra involved, or this has to do with someone taking action to balance the scales and someone's trying to block it. Wow. They're very toxic. Something's very toxic here and it's actually not so smart. Knight of Cups, someone here clearly has positive feelings for you. Um, someone is doing something here, astral travel, bad vibes, dream, regarding something you made or something you do here. Not so smart, the female presenting person. Someone could be leaving this person Someone sees that you, the angels love you like their baby. Um, there could be strong Aquarius or Sagittarius doing something on purpose here. Very, very arrogant. This person might have some type of substance use issues. Ten of Swords reverse. They hate that you're not trapped. Um, there's something about your third eye. This person's a snake in the grass. They're receiving they're receiving hidden karma. This female presenting person. Um, there's definitely something about the moon. I feel like we've got a moon, or someone could have moon in Aquarius, and something about a date here. Um, someone's being very arrogant about something they're doing, and they're in, they're crying that something's coming into alignment for you. abundance coming to you. Maybe cleanse your space. There's something about laughter that keeps coming up. Maybe I feel like it makes someone really angry. Someone is like physically ill and there's something about your laughter and romantic feelings. Someone being passed on. Seeing, looking, watching. Someone ill, seeing, looking, watching. Maybe they're being passed on. You who the angels love like their baby. Something about a date? This just, this just sounds really unstable. Someone's laughing and crying. Are there someone crying because someone's laughing? They're in denial about something. They want to block love. They're trying to... Maybe they're trying to do something astrally. Um, and there's something about someone not partying that's really bothering someone as well. Um... Or someone doesn't want two people to... Enjoy each other's time. What is this person doing here? They're trying to block some type of commitment so that you don't triumph. I feel like they've already done this before. Um, it's something about stealing something from you. They feel like they weren't able to steal something, they wanna, and that you're not in a nightmare. There's something about you not being in a nightmare, and they weren't able to steal something, so now they're, they're crying. And there's something about a family this is just weird stuff. 
what are they? They did something on purpose, but you're unfazed. Sweetheart, reverse. You're, you're not in a disaster. They did something so that someone would not see you as a sweetheart. This person doesn't love themselves. Or they didn't want you to feel loving about yourself, even though maybe someone wasn't helping you. Um, there's something about no, someone not helping you. Aid, reverse. Someone creating some type of an injustice with gossip. But someone's mask has come off, though. Someone's mask has come off. They can't stop you. And their mask has come off. They're sick. This person is sick. People might see this person as sick for what they've done. You seem relaxed. They're crying. Maybe they did all of this in the past. They're in conflict with you. They want to have a conflict. They want to create a nightmare conflict. They want to block your flow, your money flow. They want you to feel worried so that they can feel like they won. This is weird stuff. There's something about evidence of something. They're trying to get receipts of something. It's a third wheel. Receipts of a third wheel. We're trying to get receipts to a third wheel. Doing something on purpose to a sweetheart, but it didn't work. The wheel of fortune unfolding in your favor. They try to cause an ending with gossip so that someone wouldn't help you. They still want to do this. You want to break a promise. They want to break a promise. They don't want you to go on an adventure. They want to stop any good news from coming. They want someone to feel blind towards you. Who can't relax, someone who can't relax, they want them to feel blind. They want to manipulate someone to stop them from committing to you. Oh, wow. They might be wanting to do this during the moon cycle. Um, in the near future, this is all about cock walking, trying to do something to cock walk you. Um, Trapping someone, they want to trap someone in a situation where they can't relax. Someone's trapped. They want to trap someone in a situation where they can't relax by going against them. By going against them. A family or something about a family going against someone. They want to create a nightmare. They want you to feel overloaded. <laughs> They want you to feel trapped with overwhelm in the near future. Two of Wands. I feel like someone's making plans or they're trying to make plans so that something seems played out in regards to you. I, I feel like this could be astrally or they want to send a message to someone or do something here. Um, and they're looking at someone's plans, their schedule. They see that you're relaxed. There's someone here who doesn't want, they're worried because someone here doesn't want, they don't care about material things and they don't want to keep going with something so the situation's played out and something doesn't seem to be over for you so
there's some sort of evidence of something that they want to or someone is snapping out of a daydream because they have evidence of something. So, it has to do with something being a nightmare in regards to someone's profession. This is a big deal, this nightmare. They want something to be a nightmare. What's wrong with this person? This evidence is a nightmare of what someone's goals are. There's some sort of evidence here of a, of a collaboration of what someone's goals are to block eternal love. Um, and someone's memories are flooding back. That someone is a blessing. They don't, they're not interested in some type of, you know, they can't keep this person in some sort of toxic cycle gluttonous cycle so that's what they're upset about um, some sort of bad energy in the environment astral travel bad vibes it has to do with someone's feelings towards you you're relaxed you seem to be dodging these bullets someone can't handle your inner peace you have, you have this blessing around you and that they, they didn't gain anything. There's something about a family and someone not being interested in material things. It's some, they're interested in the origin of something or the, your passion or your creativity or the thing that your spark thing. You're focused on something that you're making or someone likes what you're making or something like that. I feel like this could be who wants to help you and you live and learn and that's very apparent. Someone is hoping that they want to break your calm. So I feel like you've got something coming in here. They want to stop the gains by breaking your calm. They want to create some type of news that's like, they want to create some sort of bad news to um, create some type of like crises so that you feel agitated. That's what someone's trying to do. I don't know what the letter is or what if this is just someone trying to manipulate something energetically or if this is someone trying to gossip. I don't know what they're trying to do, but they want to create some type of agitation for you so that you feel trapped. Um, feeling stuck and trapped with no love and no fortune. That's their goal in the near future. Outcome, you're in the upright, reaching your goals, and there's love here, and it seems like there's something about a house or a business that seems very positive. Um, seems like someone is, they are stuck wasting their time, not you. Um... I want to know what's going on in the near future, but um, outcome, third wheel is in the reverse, and their mask is off, and they're stuck, and no one wants to listen to them. Whatever they're trying to cause for you, I feel like. This person, I feel like they're very unhinged. And there could be something happening. I'm not wishing that on anyone. I'm just saying there could be something happening to this person. Some, something could happen to this person. For whatever they're doing here. They're not thinking something through. They're, um, they don't love themselves. They're taking action blindly. Um, because they're so triggered. They're like watching something, watching you, watching a situation. Um, they weren't ready for this. And I feel like 
there's a whole group of people that are involved, so it's like they're humiliated. Um, people are seeing you're not in a disaster. Um, they feel overloaded, not you. So whatever this outcome is, they're making it worse for themselves. They could be just doing something here with the moon. So there could be some sort of temporary situation in the near future. Um, but I want to clarify what this is because, um, you know, maybe I'm not reading it correctly. It's like this person is trying to create some problem here. Um, trying to create a problem. I don't know if this is a letter that has gossip in it or they're trying to block someone's money or for someone helping someone. A snake is trying to bring you down. That's what's going on. A snake in the grass. Or something about trying to affect a choice. And, and, and they're trying to do this with a lot of money. They're using money. There's something about money that's very integral to this person's plans. They could be trying to pay someone to do something here. Um, to try to block someone's luck. Something about making you feel isolated or trapped. Something about making you feel isolated or trapped. A snake is trying to bring you down. They want to... They're, they're, if there's something about a lot of money or something about money in the near future to try and make you feel isolated or trapped. They're trying to block you. What's going on in the near future? I don't know if this is like a mother figure or if this is a karmic feminine. Yeah, child reverse. Moon. Something maybe with the moon cycle? They're trying to take you down. Whip. This could be something abusive. We're trying to do something over and over and over again. So that something doesn't get anchored in. They're trying to cause confusion in the near future. Around you. You who are in the upright, you're a sweetheart. They're trying to block some sort of choice around love. Something about like blocking a journey where there's loyalty. They're trying to block some type of journey. There could be another masculine energy involved. It's a snake in the grass that's not feeling good about their life. It's running out of luck. That's who's doing this. Um, there could be something about travel or a trip here. Um, trying to block love. Trying to block someone from helping you. Trying to stop a fortune. Trying to stop. Trying to keep someone trapped. Trap someone. But I also feel like something could be happening to them almost simultaneously as they try to do this. And they, I, I think you're okay in this outcome. I think the important part is some type of heads up about whatever this is. And that's why I'm trying to get these details about what someone's trying to do. Very emotional. There's something very emotional here about trying to block love or they're trying to create confusion you're trying to create confusion, an illusion in the near future. Maybe it has to do with the moon. I'm trying to block someone's love life. I'm trying to block something that's supposed to be coming in. There's something about travel too. Three of Wands reverse. And I also have ship reverse. Blocking travel. Blocking something from coming in. Blocking a fortune from coming in. And they could be doing something with a friend of theirs. Or it has to do with someone who's loyal to you. But... So 
This person is very controlling. It's like they're watching something. There's something about watching something or news or information about someone watching something. Some sort of negotiation. This goes back to that legal thing again. Um, whatever this is, is very unprincipled. Charity reverse. Again, this is like fortune reverse. Trying to block love, trying to block someone from helping you. They're trying to draw someone in. It's you some sort of rom romantic situation. Try to make someone feel like you are an unprincipled choice, that's a bad gamble. They're trying to seduce someone here. They're trying to distract someone so they don't appreciate you in the near future. They're trying to dominate someone. They could also be trying to use religion or dominate the way someone feels having to do with how something appears, the optics. They're trying to dominate someone with the optics of something so that some sort of around business or money it's about not wanting something to be seen or not wanting to be seen somehow. This is weird. So that if someone's on the fence, they're trying to block someone's thought process here. They're trying to control someone. Wow. They're trying to control someone. For them, this is like how they're defending themselves, blocking something, trying to stop someone from taking a risk. It's something about romance, trying to block someone's fortune so that they don't take a loss, trying to stop someone from strategizing. It has to do with an affair. Well. Um, who is this person they're trying to block? Or what is it that they're trying to do here? It's someone that... They're trying to block a blessing. They're trying to stop someone from awakening. No matter what, there's a two of cups in the outcome. They're trying to stop someone from going through a dark night of the soul. Um, yeah, they're trying to stop someone from from awakening, trying to stop someone from thinking something through. So I feel like this could be an ex of yours. And this is a third party trying to cause confusion. Or they're paying someone to do this. Or they're trying to bring someone else in. They're trying to confuse someone. Um, try to lower someone's self-esteem. Block someone from seeing the signs in regards to a commitment in the near future. Because there's someone here that's been going with the flow um, in regards to romance, um, leading towards marriage or a forever commitment, and they don't want to let you go. Um, there's someone that's missing you here. There's someone who wants, craves intimacy, love. They want to build a home with you. They want to build a family. But there's a third party, someone that um, it doesn't want to let go. Okay, so I think this is an ex. They want to stop this person from missing you. Stop someone from talking to you. Stop with someone from having clarity. Um, and they're trying to do it fast. Because there's something about someone not listening to their guidance. Someone not trusting in divine energy not trusting themselves, not going within, um, being disloyal, being, being dishonest, um, someone not seeing themselves in you or you in them, someone who is practicing self-love right now, someone who's 
not letting fear hold them back. Someone who doesn't see you. Someone who's not mixed up about who is who. Um, so this is like someone trying to create some type of a bad influence in the near future. Yeah. So I think this is an ex. That someone is... It doesn't have to be an ex. It doesn't, maybe you've never met this person, but I feel like they know you. They're trying to create some sort of bad energy in regards to this person. And you know what? Uh, I just wanted to clarify whatever this was, but it looks like there's a two of cups for you. I see you in the upright and the outcome, and there's something, um, this house is in the upright, and this third wheel, their mask is off, and they've wasted their time. So, I don't know if you're going to feel the energy here, or if you're already feeling the energy. Um, it's someone trying to block you. Like a mother figure, <laughs> and like a karmic copycat. Um... Anyway, I think it's a I think it's a copycat mostly, but I think that they could be going to someone that's a practitioner or a mother figure is helping them. I think it's a Scorpio or a water sign. It doesn't have to be because um, there could also be a Virgo here potentially um, that's very triggered, and they know you deserve everything that's coming your way, and that they are triggered and jealous. Um, and they can't stop themselves from whatever it is they're trying to do here. Um, their mask is already coming off, so... But I feel like they could be trying to use some type of lower vibrational spiritual activity practice. And they could be doing it during the moon, which I feel like we've got a full moon coming soon. Maybe in a week? Um, I hope this resonates. Um, or I mean, if this resonates, I hope it helps. And yeah, I'll see you in the next read. Yeah, I wouldn't let this bother you. I don't think you are bothered by this. You are unfazed. And the outcome is you in the upright. It's something about blocking this King of Cups. And there's a lot of news or watching or someone watching something or seeing something or reading something. Some someone reading something, I don't know. Um, but now you have a heads up. Um, yeah. Yeah, and there could be something about a family here as well. Yeah, trying to stop someone from reconciling with a divine feminine. It seems like also trying to block some type of new love, or that someone doesn't have, like, a connection with someone. Um... Or this is is extremely jealous of you. Yeah, unhinged. It's someone's karmic partner that's obsessed. This is going to happen within a few weeks. Yeah, it it's, has to do with deception and lies regarding a divine mask. And so I feel like someone is going to lie, or they're going to try to create some sort of story very, very soon. Some type of lie a water sign is they want you to be rejected so I don't know what the lie is I don't know what it is um, it's something about creating some type of a dark night of the soul in regards to a proposal so that someone gets really in their head some sort of toxicity um, with a fire sign who already can't relax and is doing some sort of inner work on their shadow um, self. They're, shadow, they're doing shadow work. They're in a lot of regret. They're really thinking through this life lesson here. Um, feeling like, you know, they're in a lot of pain in regards to making moves out of their ego and not getting wish fulfillment out of acting without self-worth um, instead of towards their sole purpose. So, that's, you know, where that person is at right now. Someone sees you as a blessing and wants to spend quality time with you, but someone wants to stop them from listening to their guidance 
and having a fresh start. And this is like someone coming towards you. So, um, and they're trying to do it fast. Or, yeah, they're trying to, someone's trying to get in the middle quickly. They could be trying to use some type of attraction as well. I feel like they're trying to manipulate things. They're pulling out all the stops. All right, if you resonate with this message, I hope that it helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.